Let, let's take a look here at page 863. This is a check my progress. Open up to page 863. We're going to work through the check my progress. Please write down anything that I write down as we go through this. Okay, so we start with two vocabulary words. It says the blank is an appropriate unit to measure the height of an oak tree. Well, an oak tree we think of as tall. So what would we measure it as being tall? Capacity? Nope. Centimeters are little? Nope. Kilometers are almost a mile. An oak tree isn't a mile. Pints are liquid. Cups are liquids. Quartz are liquid. Fluid ounces are liquid. Gallons are liquid. Millimeters are teeny teeny. And meters. Meters is what we would use to measure the height of an oak tree. So uh, we will put meter in there. And the blank is an appropriate unit to measure the capacity of a gasoline tank. When we go to the gas station to fill up with gas, you could you could measure it in pints or quarts or cups um, or fluid ounces, which would be teeny, but we fill up and measure it in gallons. Most gas tanks can hold between 15 and 20 to 25 to 30 gallons for a, a larger gas tank. All right, let's go back and review then. Uh, when we worked with capacities. So a couple reviews with our capacities. You might re remember, you might want your yellow sheet out. You'll remember that um, one cup is eight fluid ounces. Okay. One pint is two cups, which is also 16 fluid ounces. Um, oh, PT for pint. One quart is two pints or 32 fluid ounces and that is also equal to four cups and then um, <clears throat> one gallon is equal to four quarts which is equal to eight pints and we also said it was 128 fluid ounces. Okay, so let's take a look. We have some comparisons here. What's bigger, seven cups or three and a quarter pints? You'll want your yellow sheet out to help with this when we talked about capacities. I always like to go from larger units to smaller so I can multiply. So in this case, what's smaller or a larger, a cup or a pint? The pint is larger. So we would go from pints to cups Okay, unless you want to divide, we know that there's two cups in one pint. So you could take seven and divide it by two to change to pints, or we could multiply three and a quarter by two. Okay, if we did three and a quarter, that's 3.25 times two. Okay, if we divide this, we would get three and a half pints. Here, if we multiply, we get six and a half cups. So either way, that's larger. Okay, if we look at gallons versus quarts, <clears throat> we know that there's four quarts in one gallon. So here we have five gallons, so we go big to little. We can multiply this by four, and five times four is 20. So 20 quarts or 18 quarts, which would be bigger, and we get 20 quarts. Okay, if we look at centimeters to millimeters, we know that there was 10 millimeters in one centimeter, and centimeters are larger, centimeters to millimeters, so we could go 45 times 10, and if we do that, we get 450 millimeters. So what's bigger, 450 or 450? they're equal. Then here we can go kilometers to meters. We know that there's 1,000 meters in one kilometer. Okay, And if we go <coughs> kilometers to meters, we would multiply. If we go meters to kilometers, we could divide. So we could take 5,000 and divide it by 1,000. And if you remember, we have that trick of canceling out the zeros. We're left with 5 divided by 1, which is 5 and that would be turned into kilometers then. So what's bigger, four and a half or five, we would have five. Remember, pick one side of that inequality to, to convert, and then you can compare. If you, can, if you convert them both, 
then you're going to make it opposite. You would turn the kilometers into kilometers on this side and the meters into meters on this side and you would never be able to compare. They have to have the same label to be able to compare them. If we look at the bottom number seven, seven cups to fluid ounces. Well, we know in one cup there's eight fluid ounces. So now we have seven of them. So we take seven times eight. Remember cups to ounces, big to little, we would multiply. Seven times eight is 56. So seven cups is 56 fluid ounces. Gallons, we're gonna change to quarts again. <clears throat> we said there's four quarts in a gallon. So 17 times four would give us those quarts. Well, seven times four is 28. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, so 17 gallons is 68 quarts. If we look here, we're going to change quarts to gallons. Well, when we did gallons to quarts, we multiplied, so here we're going to divide. We're going to take 22 and divide by that 4 quarts in a gallon. If I do that, 22 divided by 4, 4 goes into 22 5 times, 5 times 4 is 20, take away, we're left with 2. So we have five remainder two. To put that into my answer, that turns into five gallons and two quarts left over. Okay, let's take a look here. Centimeters to meters. 100 centimeters equal one meter. So centimeters little to meters big. We're gonna divide 835 divided by 100. Remember 100 can't go into eight. It can't go into 83 but it can go into 835. So we have zeros holding those place values. And 100 goes into 835 eight times. Eight times 100 is 800. Subtract, we're left with 35. Now, we need to, we don't want 35 hundredths as a remainder, so let's take it to a decimal. Add a decimal there, put it up in your answer, and add a zero, bring it down, and finish. 100 into 350 goes three times. Three times 100 is 300. Subtract, we have 50. Add another zero and bring it down. Repeat, 100 into 500 goes five. Five times 100 is 500. 500 take away 500 is zero. So my answer is eight and 35 hundredths. Okay, let's look down here. 88,000 meters to kilometers. So meters to kilometers, meters to kilometers, I'm gonna divide. So we know that there's 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So I'm gonna take 88,000 and divide by 1,000. Remember when you divide, you can cancel out zeros. So cancel one from here and here, there and there, and there and there. Three zeros to cancel on each side. Now I have 88 divided by one, which is 88. So 88,000 meters is 88 kilometers. Let's look here, 49 and 3 tenths millimeters to centimeters. 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Millimeters little to centimeters larger, I'm going to divide. So I take 49 and 3 tenths divided by 10. 49 and 3 tenths divided by 10. Remember when you divide, you can take by a 10, you have one zero, you can take that and shift it one place to the left. Take your decimal and shift it. So we have four and 93 hundredth centimeters. We're trying to make that number smaller by one place value, okay? <clears throat> if you recall, we also worked on line plots, so it says make a line plot of the measurements in the table, then find the fair share. Let's make our zero to one on our line plot. Our halfway point is one half, and we know that one third is less than the halfway point, okay? One fourth would be in the middle there between zero and one half, one third is a little bit more. If I put X's on my line plot for the amount of data, I have one half and another half. And then I have one third and another and another. So I have three above the one third. Put a title, board, lengths, and this is in feet. 
okay? So we did, we, here's our steps to do this. We, one, mark X's, okay? Um, after adding zero and one on our line, okay? Then we give it a title. Then we're going to add our data. And then finally, we're going to divide total by number of X's. And that will give us our fair share. So let's, we're on step three. So we have one half plus one half. One half plus one half is one whole. And then we have one third plus one third plus one third. That's three thirds, which is one whole. So we have one plus one is two. That's our total. Now we take our total of two and we're going to divide it by our number of X's. One, two, three, four, five. So two divided by five is two over five. Our fair share is two fifths, okay? All right, move on with workshop.